Good morning. Hope you're doing well today. It's a beautiful day outside even though it's raining. God knows what we need and I'm so thankful for the rain. I want to share with you a verse out of 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 5, uh, which is in desperate need of our country and the world today. It's Paul talking to Timothy. He says, when I, when I call to remembrance the unfeigned faith that is in thee, which dwelt first in thy grandmother Lois and thy mother Eunice, I am persuaded that in thee also. Paul is writing a letter to Timothy here, and, and he talks about the faith that he has seen in Timothy through their time together and what he's heard of what Timothy is doing. And he says, I know that this first, the faith that you have, first was in your mother and in your grandmother. And you know what? For it to be in Timothy, they had to take the time to teach him, to sit down and read the Old Testament to him, to read what was in the well, known of Jesus Christ and his res crucifixion and his resurrection. They took the time to raise Timothy to know what the Word of God said. And that's what's going on today. That's why we see such a falling away. Uh, it's parents and grandparents not taking the time to teach the Word of God to their children. The Bible says very plainly, train up a child in the way he should go, and in the, when he, in the end he will not depart from it. That doesn't mean he's going to walk straight all the time. But if it is instilled into them, then every time they go to do something wrong, it's going to bother their conscience. It's going to bother their heart. Because they know what they're doing is wrong. But you see, there's a, there's a generation that has been raised that we're seeing now without knowing God. There's a generation still coming behind this one, I believe, that's probably even worse off. Because we're getting too busy in the things of life, not taking the time to raise the children and our grandchildren. You see, grandparents, you and I have a responsibility also. Mom and dad are to do their part. We are to do our part with our grandchildren. It's not up to the churches. It's not up to Sunday school teachers. It's not up to preachers to raise them in the Word of God. They should teach them what it says, but it's not their responsibility to raise them. It is in the parents and in the grandparents to do so. So I pray today that you and I will do our part to raise our children and our grandchildren and knowing what the Word of God says. If we can do that, then we can be rest assured that somehow, some way, I believe they'll find God before it's everlasting too late. So let's do that today. Let's don't get slack. Let's make sure we teach them every day a little bit about what God's Word says. And then ask them when they get out of Sunday school. Ask them when they come out of children's church. Ask them when they come out of classes on Wednesday night. What did you learn today about Jesus Christ? What did you learn about the Bible today? And ask them if they have questions. And if they do, ask God to help us give them the answer. If we'll do that, we'll raise a children that will know God and will know right from wrong and can be better when they get into the adulthood. I pray today that God will bless you richly, is my prayer today.